What is going on guys? Britter here and I am working through the Odin project and they suggested Fluxbox Zombies to learn Fluxbox better so that's what we're going to do. And it looks like we're in chapter one here, the crossbow. Flex direction. Good, you're awake. About time kid. Didn't you hear that siren? Something just tripped our warning wires to the east. Yeah, yawn. I heard the noise and came running. Nearly tripped on this crossbow so I grabbed it. Here you go. You hang on to it. I've got a bit of an injury from my last fight, so it's a really good thing you showed up when you did. Right, uh, only problem is I have no idea how to use this thing. Ha, good one, kid. Now come on, let's go get our defenses in place. No, really, I've never used any weapon like this. No kidding. Well, hmm, I'm surprised you've managed to survive this long. It's brutal out there. All right, well, guess I'll teach you. We may have visitors soon, though, so let's get to it. Okay, listen up. The crossbow is the best weapon we've got. See that LCD screen on it? That's where you enter the settings. Go ahead and power on the crossbow by typing display flex. Alright, so display flex. That's it. See how the crossbow is aiming to the east? That's because of the flex direction setting. Leaving it off is the exact same as setting it to flex direction row. But we can aim the crossbow in any direction we want using the flex direction setting. Practice aiming the crossbow to the west by using flex direction row reverse. So flex. Notice that the crossbow's crossbow projects a boundary around the field when it's powered on and aimed in the correct direction. The zombies broke through the southern fence once and ate all of one of my goats, all but one of my goats. Now old Bessie, poor thing, is terrified and won't stop giving me judgy looks. <laughs> Aim to the south with flex direction column. There you go, you're a natural. With you around, I'm sure Bessie is feeling much safer already. An unimpressed bleat is heard in the distance. And finally, we can aim the crossbow to the north by setting the flex direction setting to column reverse. Yep, just like that. Well, it must have been a false alarm. I don't see anything coming. Those trip wires are a bit finicky. Let's head back. I like this crossbow. It feels like a quality weapon. Its settings are a bit strange, though. Oh yeah, I know it. That would be Dave's doing. He was an engineer friend of mine who built the crossbow back when the zombies first started showing up. Brilliant mind. Such a terrible shame. Oh, what happened to him? I don't really like talking about it, but to make a long story short, engineer Dave let his ego outgrow his genius. Started thinking he was untouchable. Got careless. One day, he was tinkering with the crossbow, and a zombie crept up close. He noticed it in time, should have been able to take the shot, but in the panic of the moment, he forgot how to use the blasted thing. He scrambled to look up the correct settings on a cheat sheet, but the zombie closed the gap and straight up chewed his head. Ew. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks, it happens. But yeah, you'll get the hang of those settings. Let's recap. Framing east, default, use flex direction row. If the zombies are coming from the west, spin around with flex direction row reverse. Easy to remember, east and west, left and right. Just like a row in tic-tac-toe. That's probably what Dave was thinking. He loved that game for some reason. You'll see him coming from the south. Just set it to flex direction column. Here I'm approaching from the north and it's flex direction column reverse. North and south, up and down, just like a column. Don't worry, you'll have lot, a lot of chances to practice. Brain time. It's recommended to take a break here. Give your brain a good night's rest to solidify what you're learning. Um, Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and end here and then we'll do the next chapter on the next one. I'll see you guys there. Bye.